فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ونزلنا عليك الكتابة بيانا لكل شيء وهدى ورحمة وبشرى للمسلمين صدق الله العظيم Brother Chairman, Datu Ilyas, brothers and sisters here at Hotel de Palma in Ampang Point in Kuala Lumpur, in Surau Nurul Hikmah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Our topic tonight is a nice one. You will enjoy it, inshallah. The Muslim village in Akhiru Zaman. The Muslim Kampung in Akhiru Zaman. And we have to begin by defining Akhiru Zaman or the end time. The religion of Islam, the Quran, and the ahadith of the Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam have given us a view of history that the historical process will not continue forever. That history will come to an end and that it will end with the triumph of truth over all rivals. Allah says in the Quran, Ba'da'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim هو الذي أرسل رسوله بالهدى ودين الحق ليظهره على الدين كله وكفى بالله شهيد وكفى بالله شهيدا. He it is who has sent his messenger Muhammad عليه الصلاة والسلام with the guidance and with the deen. Or the way of life of Al Haq of truth, Al Islam, that it might prevail over all rivals, that it might prevail over all rivals. History cannot end without the fulfillment for the last time of this divine statement the truth will prevail over all rivals. It is only after history has ended with the triumph of truth over all rivals, only then, sometime later, we don't know how long, only then will the world itself end. And then we'll have the resurrection, the ba'athu ba'ad al and the judgment, and Jannah and Jahannam. History will end with a last age. Nabi Muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam described that last age to us as the age of fitan, of great tests and of trials. And he has given us many signs by which we can recognize that last age or akhiru zaman and we're not going to spend tonight informing you of all those signs one is enough because we have lectured on this subject so many times already in the past the prophet alayhi salatu waslam was in the masjid with his companions when this stranger entered and asked the five questions and the Prophet Islam answered them the stranger confirmed they were correct and then he left 
And then the Prophet asks, do you know who he was? He was Jibra'il alayhi salam. Allah sent him in the form of a human being in front of everybody, perhaps for the first time in history.